free on the left. We do have a little break here coming on the right. Don't want to sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. Hey everyone, Will from Electric, and we just got the update 2023.7.20, and this is FSD Beta 11.4.4. So I'm gonna do what I did in the last video and just jump right into some testing after I scroll over this. So you, if you are interested in reading, um, then you can read all the release notes. If you wanna read them, you can just pause the video right here. Autopilot suspension, not new there. Visualization is not new. Cabin camera, not new. So let's jump right into some testing. All right, everybody, this is 11.4.4. We have a destination set and we are going to turn on the FSD beta. So we have a right turn coming up here, right turn signal comes on automatically and the car is gonna stop here at the stop sign and then creep forward and there is a slight creep, no cars coming. I am paying attention. Please ensure, just like Tesla recommends, always stay attentive and be ready to take over at any moment. Now I have been running this 11.4.4 on my car for a few days now and had a good chance to test a good amount of it, some roundabouts and some um, blind left turns or unprotected left turns and it did a really good job. Um, I, I really think that this is a step improvement uh, or a slight improvement over the last, this is not a huge step change um, like we may get with, you know, a version 12 or a version 13 that should be coming in the future. It is still an improvement, I think, and the FSD beta on the highway, which we are not going to test today, um, but I have tested this 11.4.4 on the highway and it really performed quite well. So I'm slowing down here. There's no oncoming traffic, so it needs to go through and it does. Left turn signal came on and it did everything correct there. Double hand wave. Oh, another Tesla. Here we go. No. So it needs to stay in the center lane here. It did go off to the left, just slightly off to the left over there, but did center back on this forward or through lane. Very smooth following this traffic in front of us going through that intersection. Great job on the FSD. Some slowdown here, so the FSD beta is doing a good job slowing down. You can see that it is able to identify turn signals and brake lights from other vehicles. Really cool computer vision right there. By the way, the brake light thing is not something new. I'm just pointing it out. So we are heading straight through this traffic light, so we need to be following the silver car in front of us. And it does a good job, and you can see this path prediction here, this little blue feeler line. Our light does turn green immediately, and we are heading through the intersection. Little hesitation there, but does not slam on the brakes, but definitely some hesitation mid-intersection. I'm not sure if it saw that other car off to the right, if it was predicting that it was gonna turn in front of us. Overall, good job on the FSD beta. I also wanna mention that to everybody out there who's, uh, you know, there's been some scrutiny on other FSD beta testers. Um, and I wanna say all my testing video, I don't just put a highlight reel out here. As you can tell, even though I fast forward certain sections that where nothing happens, we're making a right turn here. I don't cut out anything bad that the FSD beta does. This is exactly what's happening in the car slowing down here, making a right turn, a little choppy there, but relatively okay. But I don't cut out anything. You guys see the full clip, the full drive. So don't think that I am, uh, you know, 
cutting out only the bad parts of the FSD beta drive. I do fast forward and try to let you guys know when I do that, but the whole clip is still there. Slowing down, making a right turn here, residential area, 25 mile an hour speed limit, and a beautiful left turn. Do have some parked cars here, one on either side. Let's see how it splits it, and it's going right down the middle. Excellent job. It looks like we have another right turn coming up here, going around this parked car. I really love how we can see the path. It does see this other car parked, lots of car parked cars here, and it is able to go forward. So it does put the wipers in. I'm gonna go ahead and push the accelerator now because this is the end of the navigation and we'll see what happens. This Bronco is trying to turn and so we're just gonna see if it will make a U-turn. I don't think it will though. So it's saying that basically it needs to go that way or this way. But um, yeah, it's not able to do that. So I am gonna take over here to uh, ensure we don't hit anything. And then another game that I do love playing is, um, I'm gonna push the brake pedal here and I'm gonna get out of this navigation and trip. And this is uh, what I like to call FSD roulette. So I'm just gonna let the car drive. I have no destination set and we're gonna see where it goes and we're gonna, just kind of see how the turns go. So this is completely random. Tap Test sent me these floor mats. This is a set of four, so all the floor mats that you will need for your Model 3. The greatest thing is they fit in my 2018 Model 3 and they'll fit in your brand new 2023 Model 3. These are really high quality and they're only 130 bucks. Definitely a good buy if you are in the market for some floor mats, link in the description. They also sent me a wireless charger. Now the wireless charger that we did have installed was a pain point for us because we both have the iPhone mini, which it would not charge unless it was kind of boosted up. Now on their wireless charger, there is a USB-C port that you can plug something in, which is really nice and convenient to have. It does plug in though with a micro USB in the back, which is kind of weird. Why, didn't, why not? Anyway, that's what it comes with in the box and install couldn't be easier. It was pretty easy to uninstall the other wireless charger that I did have from another brand. And this thing right now on Amazon is only 60 bucks and it did charge really nicely. You can also charge in the landscape mode. So there's three different features, vertical on either side or the landscape down the center. If you are interested in purchasing one of these, check the link down below in the description. I was really happy with the quality of this thing. It looks great. It looks just like the OEM Tesla one, but it's half the cost. Over here, there's the steering wheel. So now I'm gonna gauge autopilot. So it's already determined that it's gonna turn right at this stop sign. So it either had the choice of left or right. There is no traffic and it is going to make a right turn, creeping for visibility. Again, no traffic and a pretty smooth right turn. The turn was smooth, but I really wanna see it be a little bit more assertive. I do have the FSD beta on assertive. A kid on a bicycle there. It looks like the FSD beta is gonna go straight and go around this little roundabout here um, in this neighborhood versus going straight. Did turn on the turn signal, is slowing down a bit, a little confused, no traffic around us at all. Doing a really good job. It is saying that it needs to brake here and now it is continuing forward. Um, even though it's not the proper way to go around there, you would only go there if you're going to those houses. Um, it still was doing a good job navigating that. We do have an Amazon truck here that is gonna pass rather closely though. And we can go straight through and the FSD beta is going straight through. Do you have a stop sign right here, which it does see. And I'm ready to take over if it is going to run a stop sign, Ross. Never mind. If anybody saw that uh, FSD beta video, it is gonna turn left here which again, this is completely random. We don't have any destination set. Let's see if it can make its way back out. This is the road, I believe, that takes you out of this particular neighborhood. 27 miles an hour here. This is a bigger neighborhood road and it is able to identify that, which is pretty cool. On those side streets, it would only go, go 25 miles an hour. So really cool to see the FSD beta able to, I guess, get the data or the information from the map and determine that this is more of a, a busier road. So now I am curious if I'm able to press the left turn signal. So I just initiated the left turn signal. And now let's see what happens because that's how you change a lane. 
So change lane unavailable. So I can't initiate until the FSD beta to um, change a lane. So it looks like I'm gonna turn off the turn signal not to confuse it more. It is going to go straight across it looks like. We do have, it is free, free on the left. We do have a little break here coming on the right. It is still free on the left and it is able to see the one traffic that we have there. Very impressive. I, it, I cannot describe to you enough. That's hard to turn out as a human driver um, or hard to get out of that um, intersection as a human driver. And that was well done by the FSD beta. You can just see back there in that footage how well or how far it was able to see left and right down the road. We do have some golf course uh, traffic here, but no carts. Unfortunately, I would love to see what the FSD beta would do. And now it is just continuing straight down this road and we'll see if it does make a turn. Now again, intersection coming up and I press the left turn signal and you cannot initiate a left turn. You can only initiate a lane change. So if you wanna turn left, you need to put the destination in there. So we do have a stop ahead. It's a little bit crowded by these trees here and the FSD beta does pick it up right here. Some cross traffic going that does not stop. It is clear now. We have nobody behind us and a smooth left turn. Coming through right here, following this huge Amazon truck. That truck is starting to slow down. Now it is pulling over, so let's see how assertive it is. So it did pull over, did come to a stop, and it should pass it. So it did put its flashers on, and now, once the flashers came on, now the FSD beta should go around it. So now it should go around, creeping forward again. And the guy is clearly pulled over now and the FSD beta should go around him. So now he is gray and the FSD beta is gonna pass him. Do a little friendly wave to him because he's probably like, why is this guy just sitting right behind me? So I would, again, a human driver would have picked up that the Amazon guy was pulling over. He threw his flashers on too, so the FSD beta needs to be able to pick that up. Passing another car here, and now we are coming up to a major road here. So let's see what it decides to do. It looks like it's going to cross this four lane road. So this is a four lane road here. We do have traffic coming from the left, and we have traffic coming from the right. So it is not clear for the FSD beta to go. If you noticed in the video, my foot has moved. I am covering the brake just in case the FSD beta decides to leach out there. Um, and I determine as the driver, it is not safe because ultimately I am still in control of the vehicle with the FSD beta at its current state. Now it is free on this left side. So it could go to the center here, which it does creep out. And now it is completely free and it does continue on. So I would say that's pretty natural compared to what I would have done as a human driver. Well done. Really taking up the center of the road here feels like um, almost plain chicken. You can see that it's planning on getting over and then kind of gets over at the last second, but really rides in the middle of a road that isn't marked. So I would like to see the FSD beta ever so slightly over. I think that they're doing it because of safety, obviously drivable road surface. It makes it, it makes sense if you're, you know, more in the center of the road. Now, again, I want to say, if you plan on testing this out, make sure you do as Tesla recommends. And as I try to do, keep your hands on the wheel and be ready to take over at any moment. Approaching a stop sign here, I can see the stop sign, but it doesn't show it visually yet. It is planning on making a right turn here. I am gonna disengage to make a left turn. So I'm putting my foot on the brake now and doing a left turn. Oh, 
Now that that left turn is done, I am gonna turn back on autopilot. Now coming up to another stop sign, it is going to turn right. It does see the stop sign. It is showing me that it is gonna stop, so I am looking at that too. Traffic is clear. It is gonna creep forward. There is a truck approaching and it does take it. And I really wanna see the FSD beta kind of speed up a little bit. The truck didn't get close to us. It still had plenty of space. Um, the Subaru is creeping out. I didn't like to see that. Slowing down significantly there. There was some cross traffic and changing lanes mid intersection. Now this left lane did end, so I guess you could do that, but really I feel like the proper thing to do is to go straight through your lane and then transition over. Again, some phantom braking right there. No need for it to slow down, no traffic in anywhere in sight, and some phantom braking happened. Approaching a red light here and doing a really nice job slowing down prior to the red light. In previous versions, I did see that the FSD beta would kind of speed up even though I would see in the distance a red light. So that this red light was actually around a curve and it even, even around before it could see the light or before it showed the light on the visual display, it did start to slow down there. Some construction happening right here. This left lane is closed. It doesn't need to move lanes at all. We do have cone markings. There is nobody working. There is nobody with the sign. It did ask me to apply slight steering force to the wheel and we are out of that construction zone now. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here. I hope you guys like this video. If you wanna see more of this, please hit the subscribe button. Share this video with a friend, and I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya. Pain you already know. Turn that to games, let my money show. I've got these things that I can't let go. Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own. I feel